do a little bit of a different kind of a video. We're going to combine some. We are going to basically do like a vlog and uh, what I eat in a day and uh, maybe even going to Disneyland. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. So let me start with what I'm going to eat in a day. Oh, where are we going? You want well, to we're, we're on our way to go see the Spider-Man movie. Yeah, so it is Tuesday morning, the day Spider-Man is opening, and we are going to go see it. It is early, like 8.15 or something, um, and I brought my breakfast, so, oops, so shiny. So I just have two baby oranges and apples, that's what I'm going to have for my <laughs> breakfast, and I'm going to bring it into the movie theater. I, okay. Can we talk, can we have an ethical question? I know we're not supposed to bring outside food into the movie theaters, but they don't have healthy food options. So I'm, I'm bringing it because there's no way I'm going to be like tempted to cheat on my diet or make bad choices because there's no options for, to buy apples. But I don't know. Yeah, movie theaters. What do you think? Movie theaters, I have a question for you. Can you, can I please bring fruit uh, and not get in trouble? Anyways, uh, that's all I have to say. I forgot my breakfast, so I don't oh, get to no. eat. Oh no. I don't get to eat. I'm going to be so angry. Oh and no. I'm going to smash things like a bowl. Oh, okay, this may be the shortest vlog ever. <laughs> Okay, we are out of the Spider-Man Far From Home movie theater. Uh, no spoiler, spoils, what did you think? I liked it, it was really good. It was funny, of course. It was awesome. Yeah, it was I great. really, really liked it. Um, this is not spoilery, and I don't know if anybody will, re will relate to it, but to me it felt like the tone of the Lizzie McGuire movie meets Marvel. What? Did she do some European vacation or something? You have not, not seen it? Seen I'm sorry. I was too old to watch Lizzie McGuire. I loved and still love the Lizzie McGuire. Oh my gosh. Sorry, We're going I was, to have probably would have been known as creepy if I watched that. Yeah, I don't know why I told it. Okay, well if you are 30 or 31, I guess now I am, maybe you will understand. But 36, no, apparently. Too old. Uh no, I'm really excited. Of that to stay no one to be this. Uh, I'm really excited about this because I feel like I like the tone of this new phase of the Marvel. Yeah, it's it, fun. it was like a nice reset of things, so I'm excited. Yeah, this is technically the end of phase four, so the start of phase five. Wait, is it no? Start end of phase three, start of phase four. Is I next, think so. Next movie, whatever that one is. I think so. I'm ready for it. I'm so in. I feel like I had a little like hangover from Endgame. Yeah. So now it was good. unemotional. Yeah. It now was, I'm back a, in. My good. heart is back in. Great. I don't know what we're going to do now. I think we're gonna go shopping. Oh and then Eric. lunch. This guy wants to just go shopping like nuts out. Okay. Uh, when he lost sixty three pounds, you feel good about yourself. Oh my gosh. Okay. We are going to Rubio's for lunch because it has options for both of us. All right, this is what I got. This is the California bowl with chicken. It is 13 points as is, but I'm not going to eat the guacamole and stuff. I'm, I'm going to count this as 10 points from what for what I'm going to eat. And then... This is two chicken tacos with keto tortillas. It's basically a cheese tortilla. It's two carbs for each, so awesome. Okay, I am done. It was delicious, so I hope this isn't too gross, but I just kind of wanted to show you how much is left, and I'm completely full. Um, it was really, really good. So I am just counting this as 10 points because there was so if I ate everything it's 13 but I didn't eat any of this and there's still so much left but I'm full and I'm not going to push myself so I am counting this as 10 I don't know what the Weight Watchers rule technically is about it but this is just what I'm doing hello let's see if I can get to focus on me there we go hey so we just got home from uh, wandering around shopping after the movie um, 
we went to Old Navy, a couple other stores, but I got some cool stuff at Old Navy, so I thought I would show you. Okay, so they're having a great sale, so let me show you what these t-shirts are. I got this one, which is pretty cool. Shout out to my friends in Austin. I thought I'd get this because of that. Um, this is my favorite one that I got, I think. If I can open it. It says Fresh Beats. And there's a beat with some headphones on. I thought that was funny. I got these, which are swim trunks. I needed new ones. My swim trunks don't fit anymore because I've lost weight. And so I needed to get some new ones. And then I went with a classic surfer shirt for because I live in Southern California and this is my oh, let me, sorry this is a hilarious shirt I got this for to wear on the fourth it's a bear with some sunglasses there so oops, it's the cord so yeah so that's what I got um also got this excuse the mess we're sort of busy right now um it's just a blue baseball tee. I got this on Amazon, but it's made by a company called Dreamy USA, and the sizes are really small. So I had I read online that it said, sorry, I'll talk to the camera. I read online that you should buy a size um, two sizes above what you usually wear, because then it'll be fine. But so I was like, well, I'll probably be fine with the three X. Three X is way too small. I think it's really probably equivalent to a large so I might either send it back or I guess I could shrink into it I don't know I was gonna do some special stuff for my niece for her tournament to wear that so I'll just think of something else so that's my haul for uh, Old Navy great deals right now so if you are thinking about going to Old Navy it's like 50% off of most of the store so pretty cool but I don't know what we're gonna do now so I'll check in later Hi, so we have been getting some solid work in for a little while, getting some orders uh, worked on, and now we are going to start dinner. Oh, I'm listening to a podcast. This is how I look all the time, podcasting. Well, I'm not listening now, but I'm podcast ready, always podcast ready, or audiobook. Um, so today I am going to be making a turkey burger. This is a staple meal. I absolutely love it. And it, oh, turkey bacon cheeseburger. I almost forgot the good stuff. So anyway, I will just show you how I make it and how many points. It's pretty good on points actually, all things considering. All right, while the pan is heating up, I wanted to show you how I accounted for my lunch. So here is the meal. Apparently I have been saying California roll when it should be bowl. So sorry about that. But this is what I got. And the, the serving size, I put three fourths because I definitely did not eat a full thing. So I put, I'm going to put three fourths um, for my serving so if it's you eat the whole thing it is 13 but I did not eat the full thing so instead of guessing I am going to put three-fourths which actually ended up being 10 points perfect so for my day today I have oh my gosh I have 14 points so let's eat those for dinner all right, uh, before I cook my dinner, I just kind of wanted to show you the breakdown of points. So my turkey burger dinner is going to be a total of 12 points. So I am going, I'm going to use three slices of center cup bacon. I'm going to have an apple with it. I'm going to have some pop chips. Then the hamburger bun is three points. Actually, this is from, my hamburger bun is Aldi's and I did the calculation and it's also three points, but this is just easier for me. I'm going to have one slice of ultra thin provolone cheese, one, and then my turkey burger is three. So this is a lot of food for 12 points and I still will have two points left over for tonight, so. 
I gotta get cooking. Hello. So I forgot to talk about my lunch today at Rubio's. So if you are not, um, I think Rubio's is just in Southern California, right? I don't know. We're not really sure. I know it's not up in Washington and I don't think it's in Oregon, but. So Rubio's is a Mexican restaurant. Um, it is kind of like a quick service Mexican restaurant, like the other ones like it, I guess. It's not quite like uh, Chipotle, but because you order the food and they, you don't like go down the line like the rest of those places, but. Um, anyways, so I had Rubio's and they have a keto wrap. So uh, keto tortilla is what they call it. Basically it's just cheese. It's mostly like a cheese. It's made with cheese. And so it, it's, it's okay. I did not like it that much because it is, it was really greasy, and I could tell almost immediately, just it pooled grease, which is, I mean, it's good that that option exists, and if you don't have a problem with that, like, go for it. I don't have a gallbladder, so it's kind of harder for me, but, um, I would say the, the, the flavor was not the problem. It was not the flavor, and the texture was fine, too. It tastes like, if you take, if you take cheese and cook it in a pan and flip it over, that's basically what they did. They probably add some stuff because it's two carbs, but, um... I, I just didn't really like it because of the grease aspect. I mean, the food was good. The chipotle mayo I have is really good. I don't know how many carbs that was. I'm hoping it's not too many, but... Um, but yeah, so... The chicken was flavorful and stuff, but it's just that tortilla shell. I just... I couldn't handle it. So... What are you gonna do? Uh, it's a good option for if we're on the road doing something or whatever. We can always go there, so... And Amy can eat there, so that's good. Update, update, I made a mistake in what I showed you. I only eat two slices of center cup bacon on my turkey burger, and, and I think the default is three, so I changed it because two slices of center cup bacon is only one point. So my dinner with the turkey cheeseburger, turkey cheese bacon burger, I don't know why that's so hard for me to say, with pop chips and an apple is only 11 points. So I have three extra points for life. I just want to show you how nicely um, I cut these in half, but center cup bacon fries up. Do you see this amount of grease? That means flavor, but I'll, don't worry, I take care of it. Um, like take it all out and stuff like that and I get most of it off the bacon. But I am an advocate. If you are a bacon lover, try center cup bacon before you try turkey bacon. The points are very good and the flavor is good. That is my Weight Watcher soapbox. Try center cut bacon if you liked bacon before. Hey, so I want to give you guys some tips on how to make great uh, turkey burgers. Because um, sometimes, honestly, turkey burgers can be kind of dry or they could just be not as good as regular hamburgers but honestly these are pretty stinking close um so one thing the first thing that i recommend is cooking the turkey burgers in the same pan that you cooked the bacon so cook the bacon first center cut bacon turkey bacon i do not know if it'll work that well but get center cut bacon use the same pan that you cook the bacon in a uh, drain like basically almost all of like drain a lot of the grease because you do not want it too greasy but it'll still have a lot of that bacon flavor um to keep the points down i will show you what hamburger patty i use because it is the lowest point it is three points and it is it is a good size hamburger patty um it's just a, oh and this is a frozen how to make like a frozen turkey burger this is a great quick lazy meal that will keep you satisfied um, and then if you use the turkey burger that I'm about to show you, I recommend having a preheated, well preheated because you cook the bacon, preheated on the middle setting, my setting is five, and cook it for six minutes, flip six minutes. Um, and when you do, oh, season on both sides, I will show you the seasoning, I'm going to be showing you a lot of things. Um, season it on both sides, and after you do the second flip so when it's cooking for the last six minutes um i would have personally i really like grilled onions on my burger um so put grilled onions sprinkle them around the turkey burger 
Uh, in the same pan. Is that safe? I hope that's safe. To cook it in the same pan as a turkey burger. I don't know. Maybe I should look it up. This is what I do and I'm still alive. Um, put the onions in the same pan and then season it with similar seasonings that you season the turkey burger. Once again, I will show you. And then um, to keep the onions stable, so put once the onions are like done, it usually takes me about like four to five minutes for the onions to be a, uh, at a consistency I like. Put the uh, pile the onions on the burger and then cover it with that provolone cheese. I'm going to show you the specific if if it's available on Amazon or whatever. I'll link it below, but it's at a grocery store. Um, and if you do not have an Aldi's near you, when you are at a grocery store scanning for buns, really try to get like the smaller buns um, because those are usually lower in point. So even if you have like just basic white buns. Um, if it's smaller, like better portion size, those can be better in points than the like whole wheat ones. And I am just a white bread girl. I I like white bread. And maybe one day that will change and I will be a whole grain kind of a gal, but I like white bread. Um, yeah, so those are some of my tips. Let me show you um, what I am using for seasonings and burgers and stuff. All right, so these I swear by these are the burgers that are the lowest points I have found three and then this is the cheese I really prefer to use like smaller especially for cheese I would rather use like thin uh, regular cheese and like reduced fat just because I, I just like the melting this is how I season it so I just have black pepper, some onion powder, maybe that's overkill actually with my grilled onions, garlic powder, and then this I feel like is another must. I have seasoned salt instead of regular salt and it makes it taste more like beefy. Is that a word? Beef, I guess so. And these are my Aldi hamburger buns. So yes, try to use seasoned salt. Da 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 da! Here it is. This does not look like a diet dinner, does it? So here is what the hamburger looks like. This part of the bacon didn't fit, so this is bonus bacon. Um, here are my chips all counted out with an apple, and these are the chips that I love. And I'm hungry, so I'm going to take my water, and we're going to go eat out back. Hi, guys. Um, So it is about 8 o'clock in the evening. Oh, the glare. I never know what to do with my glasses because I feel like the glare looks terrible. Um, so it's about 8 o'clock in the evening and my dinner was great. I love that turkey burger. So my breakfast, which was just the fruit, was zero points. My lunch, which was the Rubio's chicken bowl thing, was 10 points. And then my dinner was, ended up being 11 points. So it's 21 points. I have 24 points. So, which is fine, that's within the healthy eating option. Um, so as you can tell, if you have watched my like, what would you, what do you eat in a day videos or um, whatever, I'm honestly not really a snacker. I never have been. I really think a lot of my weight gain has been uh, because of improper portions. Oh, I'm going to put you here. Of improper portions as in bad, like just bad choices as well as um, just eating way too much, which is improper portion. Get it together, brain. Um, okay, so um, so today was, today was a work day, so we did, we I think we got home from the movies and from lunch, I think we got home around one, and then we've been working on getting orders out and things like that. Um, and then we had dinner and then it's 8 o'clock and we've been working this whole time and then honestly what I'm going to be doing now until I feel good about myself is um, I'm going to be doing some research about uh, Instagram and specifically engagement for Instagram because um, in case you don't know Eric is primarily in charge of like that going in life what you're watching. I like making videos, so I will like be the star or whatever. Um, 
sorry if that's cringy but i i will be the star but like he's doing the instagram he's doing he's doing everything um for that because he's like the boss of that going in in life and i'm the boss of amy small world that just works for us and so on amy small world the engagement for my instagram has been like going a little bit down but my followers i'm still like gaining like one or two followers a day or something like that and so um my purpose for the instagram is is that i really want to connect with my customers and i really want my customers to be able to know me through that platform because i believe like my my ideal world is i want to make products that people really love and are great quality and are super adorable very practical as affordable as i can be like i want them to love my products but i also because it's a small business because like i am doing the sewing like it, it came from my head all these different things like my my products are very much i feel like a product of love and it's very much an extension of myself and i feel like they get a little bit of my heart with each order and so i really want my customers to kind of like know the heart that they're getting you know like so i want as much as is like healthy i really do want my customers to know me so like i want them to know who they're supporting when they are buying through me because i feel like that's important like like my customers are making it so eric and i can go to the movies on a tuesday and like we have this flexible schedule and it's something i'm so appreciative of and i never take it for granted and i really 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 want my customers to know my thankful heart and I want them to feel like I really value them and I appreciate them which I try to do through Instagram I don't know if I do a good job or not but that's my goal like and that's what I'm trying to do and so when my um like Instagram engagement like comments and likes of stuff um is kind of going down I want to make sure that that there's nothing I could be doing so more of my followers can see because like I want them like I said I want I want them to know me so they so they see my heart not only in my product but they see like my heart heart once again not all of it because I'm not like a creepy weirdo hopefully but um but anyway, so tonight I am going to be doing that research. So um, I do want to let you guys know that, that I, I know sometimes on these vlogs and things like that or these videos, you see like us going out and doing a lot of things, but um, we're not we're not living like a big fancy life in the slightest. You know, maybe that's obvious, but just in case it's not, um, I just want to be really clear and we're really obvious that at least for me, almost all of my spare time is going to the business. Like, I am starting to to take some time, maybe for like one hour a night before I go to bed. I do spend that hour reading for enjoyment. But we, it like, it is crazy. We work an insane amount of hours. Insane. So the like... But we work these insane hours so we could be flexible with our time. I don't know why I felt the need to justify this, but I guess I just I just want just want you guys to understand that's like we're not we're working really hard, like really really hard too. All right, I'm going. I could I could talk to you guys for hours. I'm in a chatty mood, but I will not set you. Uh, I will not put you through this. So thank you so much for watching. Um, oh. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thumbs up are always fun. And uh, thank you for watching. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. I'm never good at these endings. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> thank you. Bye.